thousand K. The big milestone for any new bike owner. Find for that first thousand K service. Get that shipping oil out of there. Give everything a good little refresh and then uh, start cracking her open. So day eight with the new Gas Gas 700. And uh, today is it's thousand kilometer service already. So we are going to take care of all the things. Scoop it off, filters, screens, fresh oil, and uh, get it all fresh and ready to go for the next 10,000 K. So off with the Outback Motor Tech indestructible bomb proof skid plate. Nice, clean drain plugs and screens. 13 mil. Sorry. And it's completely in the way. You got a drain pan underneath with the kickstand up so I can hold it. Pretty clean looking oil, but after a thousand K, it better be. Not too bad on the magnetic drain plug. And back in. And snuck. And 13 mil again for our first of the two screens. Yeah, I'm looking pretty clean, as expected. So, right back in. Second screen's in the front. A really common sight with these filters on the first change is a whole bunch of colored flakes. And a lot of people get kind of freaked out by those, wondering what's going on, what's wrong. Uh, and nothing's wrong. It is actually just the paint markers from when the engine is assembled. So um, when full first assembly is occurring, you know, things are marked, uh, hash lines to line things up, uh, marking to just show that it was done and torqued, uh, double check everything. Um, so those paint flecks often come off on the screens on that first change. Um, none of which we got today. So. And back in. First filter is on the left side. And that's an eight mil socket. very exciting watching me screw these things out I know again pretty good looking fresh oil gotta say we gotta try to keep it that way so although the manual does say 10,000 kilometers for service there's no way I'm letting it go that long It'll be, uh, I tend to do it just before every big trip, which is pretty much often three times that frequency, just to keep it all nice. So that's the smaller of the two filters. The uh, one on the other side is larger. So yes. These bikes have two different size filters, two screens, and a drain plug. Every oil change. And how weird is that? It's a KTM filter. Bizarre. Didn't expect that. 
make sure it's seated in there nice. It does have a little bit of a rubber gasket on both sides. Make sure that's plugged all the way in solidly. If it doesn't feel like it's going together right, it's not. If it feels good, chances are you got it right. Too many knows I'm using my trail tools for all of this. I always do at home. I've got uh, my kit that does everything on the bike, either I'm home or away. If I'm on, that way if I'm on trail and I need something, it's pretty much guaranteed I've got it. If I'm trying to do something at home and I don't have it, then I add to the kit. But really, they don't need an awful lot. And the other thing you'll notice is that I'm using fairly small tools um, because it's a lot harder to over torque things if you don't have a lot of leverage. So too much leverage is a bad thing. Oh, keep everything nice and shiny. I got one, a little larger of the two, and it's over here on the left side of the engine case. And these ones can be a little harder to get off. So I use bare needles. Comes out no problem. So again, as expected, a pretty good looking filter. Nice and clean. And old habit I got into somewhere along the line working on buses and things that are pre-filling filters when you can. Just to get a little bit more oil and everything on that first startup. Doesn't really do an awful lot. Make sure you put it in the right way. Again, rubber gasket to the inside, flat cap to the outside on this one. And of course, you're supposed to warm your engine up before you do an oil change. So guess what? Engine's hot. Oil's hot. And that pipe right by my fingers, yeah, guess what? It's hot. And we've been out with the old. So... In with the new. I do really like the force boats on these containers. Takes a little bit longer, but nice and clean. I know I'm not the kind of guy who measures stuff out. I know how much it takes, but these are hard to read anyways. So I always just go by what's in it. Because you got to check your level eventually anyways. So there we are, level. You can see that we've actually got oil in it. So at this point, we're going to fire it up, let it run for a little bit. So to check the actual oil level in these things, you know, warm them up for a bit, let them cool down for a little bit, bring the bike to level, and then check it. Uh, it's a very fine art form. And if your KTM giant single bumper doesn't sound like a loose bag of nuts rattling around as a giant carries them down a hill, um, then you've done something wrong. So, yep, that's, that's the way they sound. And, uh, yeah, all warmed up. Now we let it cool down for a minute or two. All right, so let's take a look. Pretty much level. Yeah, we can definitely use a little bit more there.
and there we go. So basically you just need to be in the center indicator there. You can see there's a little red ring inside the large sight glass. And yeah, you just need to be in the middle of that. You know, it can be the low part of that, it can be the high part of that. As long as you're in it, you've got more than enough. Um, it takes uh, sort of a liter and a half, I guess, about. Um, I could look up the exact number, but it doesn't matter because guess what? Our levels are correct. There we go. So that was all told maybe about 15, 20 minutes out of your life to do your oil change. And now, there's our 1000K service done on the new Gas Gas 700. KTM 690 is the same. Husky 701, the same. Yes, it is the same engine on everything. Um, and the process is identical. So there you have it. We're going to put that bash plate back on and uh, go for a ride.